It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the Vertigo Sickle, a fairly new dual flame lighter with an integrated guillotine cigar cutter that's made by the Lotus Group, maker of the Lotus and Vertigo brands. Now, first off, the basics. The sickle measures two and seven eighths inches tall, one and a half inches wide, and five eighths of an inch thick. It weighs 3.8 ounces, giving it a nice feel in the hand, very travel and pocket friendly, also can be put in your travel humidor. It's priced at $29.95, and it comes with a lifetime warranty, and it's available in four colors, chrome, gunmetal, copper, and this one, which is called Black Crackle. Now, to the lighter. It's a dual flame torch with jets that are angled slightly inward toward each other to balance precision and power, something that I found it does quite well. Now, to use it, you simply pull the ignition back, and I will note you want to do it slowly to get the butane flowing, and then you just keep going back, and all of a sudden, you have a dual flame, and as you can see, the jets are angled in towards each other, which gives it a nice, strong point. And we'll take a look at this under the lights here in just a second. All you have to do is hold the ignition back. It'll keep the lighter going, and then release it, and you have a cover for the jets, and the lighter is extinguished. Now, as for the cutter, it's a dual blade, though only one side moves. And as you can see, it's used pretty much like any other guillotine, though the fact that it's attached to the lighter makes it a bit more challenging to use. Now, I found it easiest to treat it like a guillotine that has those back panels on it. Uh, the ones are designed to keep too much of the head from being cut off. It's a touch awkward, but it's certainly usable. And I'll show you how that works right now. You can also swing it out. I didn't find this to be many more usable, to be honest. I kind of like having the lighter as a base. Plus, this does give you a nice stop gap for not cutting off too much of the head. So the trick is really to sort of align everything. And this is obviously tougher here on this video. But I'm going to take this Robusto, put it right in there, try and get it as even as possible. And then just push down like that, and you have a cut cigar cap. Your cap sits there in the bottom, and you can just flip it out. Now, let's light this cigar. So we'll turn down the lights and show you what this thing looks like. So as I mentioned, you just pull back the ignition, and there you have your dual flame lighting up your cigar. Nice and strong, nice and powerful, but also quite precise. You can definitely use this for big cigars, smaller ring gauges like Lanceros and Coronas. This is one of the reasons I really like a dual flame because it handles pretty much anything you throw at it with ease. Again, just pull that back and again, nice dual flame. You can see them angled together. All right, let's turn the lights back up, talk a little bit more about the sickle. Now, I'm not one to generally want a built-in cutter with my lighter, whether it be a punch, which I really don't use, a V cutter, which I also don't use, or a guillotine, which I do use, but find that I want more precision from and generally use a pair of cigar scissors. But if in a pinch, the cutter on the sickle is certainly usable, and I have to admit, it actually does a pretty darn good job. It takes off a little bit more of the head than I would generally like or that I would take off when using my scissors. But again, if this is all I had available, I'd feel super, super confident and certainly confident using this to get a nice clean cut. So the Vertigo Sickle is certainly worth consideration. It's for $30. And for that $30, you're getting a solid dual flame torch that's pocket friendly, works very well, has a fuel window, the flame adjuster is down here, and just happens to offer a guillotine cutter and one that works pretty well at that. So once again, this is the Vertigo Sickle. Thanks so much for checking out this review and for complete coverage of the premium cigar industry, including news, reviews, and much more, visit halfwheel.com.